Hi, it's Ken with Steambrite. Uh, we're going to be showing you our compact uh, heater, inline heater. It's a 1750 watt heater, uh, excellent performance spec, and it runs on a 15 amp circuit. So, uh, first of all, I want to show you that when you when you first plug your line cord in, this green light comes on to indicate that you're plugged in. In fact. Maybe I'm not real good at this. There you go. And then we're going to be demonstrating this with a constant flow through a number two jet tip. That would be comparable to using a double jet wand with two number one tips, which is commonly found on some 500 PSI extractors, and pulling the trigger without ever letting go. We're going to let it flow through a number three tip and see what kind of results we get. I'm going to set this in the sink here. And once we get it flowing, I'll lift it up to show you that it is actually spraying. Um, we're going to use cold tap water from the sink. Okay. We have about 95 PSI building pressure here, so this is comparable to running a 100 PSI extractor, but in fact, it's rated for up to 500 PSI. I have a uh, pressure relief safety valve on it set at 600 in case it overpressurizes and that will discharge from here up this hose. Okay, we have water flowing through the system right now. It is cold tap water. See what temperatures we're showing on our two gauges. This is be the easier one to read. 80. What is that? 90. That's about 90 degrees. 90? That's about 90 degrees. But it's cold water? That's cold tap water in San Antonio, Texas in August. Okay. Okay, now, when you turn the switch on, you're going to see two things happen. This amber light indicates the switch is on, and the two red lights, one for each of the two 875-watt elements, uh, cycle on and off with the thermostats for those elements. So all three of those lights should come on when I turn that on. We're in good shape. If, in fact, it draws too much current, I do have a push-button resettable circuit breaker there. What is the amp draw for this? All right, we're, we're going to test that. We're already set up to do that, more or less here. And we're showing with both elements running, we're showing that can't be right. 6.4 amps. Let me just see here for a minute. I'm going to go to the, the 10 plus station. 13.7. 13.7. Okay. 13.7 to 13.8. So it's under 15. You can plug that heater in anywhere. Pretty much. Any any household circuit that didn't have a lot of heavy use items already running on it. Now, we're going to let this just run for a, a couple minutes. We're going to go ahead and quit filming and then start it again in a couple minutes when it's when it stopped, the temperature stopped rising. So we don't run out of camera battery. The water's still spraying though. We'll be back. That's right. We're doing this with the water spraying. We're going to see how hot it'll get. Then we'll shut it off and see how hot it gets when you give it time to catch up a little bit. Okay, it's been about five minutes. And what we noticed was the incoming temperature we were measuring the 90 degrees was the temperature in the hose because we're now at 75, 85, about 87 degrees incoming water temperature, 87 and a half. And this is with constant flow through a number two tip. We're at 112 and a half. So we're at a 25 degree temperature increase. If you're cleaning with a double jet wand with a number one tips without ever letting go of the handle. When you sure. clean, you average about 50% full time, which is gonna be about a double that, about a 50, 45 to 50 degree temperature increase. So that the spray is still spraying. Oh yeah. Why don't you act like, like anyone would doubt our integrity? <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna shut the flow off. And as it reaches full temperature, it's a pretty large re reservoir that it's heating. So when it reaches full temperature, it may take a few minutes, these lights will cycle off. And we'll turn it back on and we'll, we'll measure the water, the maximum water temperature coming out of it. Okay, the lights on the thermostats just both switched off. When we open the flow back up, you'll notice a rapid response on the outbound temperature gauge. And that's what we're gonna monitor with the camera. I'm just walking over here to turn the jet back on. Now. Go through a number two tip, number two tip, and it's turned on all the way. 
and you can see that temperature is coming up rapidly. Okay, about 225, got, right? got to about 225, and now of course it's the incoming water is cooling it back down, starting to slow down again. We're gonna notice what temperature. You keep an eye on that, and I'll let you know when these lights pop back on. Previous test, they came on about 175, 180. They came back on. See, one of them's back on already, and there goes the other one. And that was at about. It was 175. 175. Also, yeah. That range. Now this is a really small unit. You can see. It's really compact, lightweight, easy access, extremely competitively priced on our website, steam-brite.com. It's at uh, still about 80. Five degrees cut inbound. Outbound's 125. Now, on a 13 amp circuit. When, yeah, when you're cleaning clean. carpet, of course, you're letting go about almost half the time. So uh -huh. it's going to be almost double that temperature increase uh, actually cleaning carpet through this size orifice. Show it spraying full time again. Oh. <laughs> And that brass is not too hot to touch, but it's definitely hot enough to clean carpet with. And that's from cold tap water. Now, if you're starting with hot tap water in your tank and you connect this puppy to your machine, you're going to be a steaming, cleaning, cleaning demon.